you've caught me having my lunch. I've brought some raspberry jam with me today. Do you like jam? I love it! Mmm, yum yum, loads of jam. Ooh, spread it all over. A bit more, I think. Ooh. Oh no! Look what I've done! What a sticky mess! Oh, listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen. We've tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure. Tears, fears, and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello. Mr. Mopple, come in. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Hello, Mr. Mopple. You've got a big red stain on your shirt. Twinkle, mind your manners. Well, he has. I know. I spilt some jam and my hands are all sticky. I'll just go and have a wash. I like jam. Have we got any jam for tea, Chloe? No, dear. But Mr Mopple might let you have some of his if you ask him nicely. When I saw Mr Mopple opening his jam jar, it reminded me of a story. Oh, good. Quick, find it, Boris. Is there somewhere I know? Oh, I just can't quite... He's so slow. Can we help you look for it, dear? Look for what? What have you lost? Boris has thought of a story, but he can't find it. Here it is. Stand back, Mr. Mopal. What's the matter, Boris? Are your hands clean, Mr Mopple? Yes, I've just washed them. Are you sure? Look, they're nice and clean. Because I don't want any jammy fingers on my books. <laughs> There's nothing worse than sticky books. Don't worry, Boris. I won't make your book sticky. It's a story about jam, Mr Mopple. Let's see. It's called... Pass the jam, Jim. I like jam. Hurry, Mabel, lay that table. Jane, put Wayne back in his pram. Where's the bread, Fred? Bread, I said, Fred. Look, he's fetching a bed. Oh, yes. He thought he said, where's the bed, Fred? But he said... Where's the bread, Fred? Bread, I said, Fred. Pass the jam, Jim. Jam, Jim. Jam. They're having a party, aren't they? Well, it certainly looks like it. Cut the cake, Kate. Pour the tea, Lee. Who wants cheese and who wants ham? What a lot of sandwiches he's making. It must be a big party. Mmm. Pass the pot, Dot. Is it hot, Dot? Pass the jam, Jim. Jam, Jim. Jam! Oh, look. The lid's off the jam jar. And he's spilt some already. I like jam. Yes, Twinkle. I know. Here's the salt wart. Use your spoon, June. Jill, don't spill. And Phil, don't cram. He's cramming lots of cakes in his mouth, isn't he? Yes. Oh, and look. There's Jim feeding some jam to one of his toys. <laughs> what a mess, Bess. On your dress, Bess. Ugh. What 
is that on her dress? Chocolate. Oh, yes. Pass the jam, Jim. Jam, Jim, jam! What a sticky mess he's making. Yes, he's got jammy handprints all over the wall and jam on his face. Drink your juice, Bruce. Slice of pie, Guy. Sip your soup up slowly, Sam. Look, he's wearing a bib. Yes, you got one like that. Oh, look at them all. What a party. Who's for custard? Where's the mustard? Pass the jam, Jim. Jam, Jim, jam. Oh, look, the jam's all over the floor now. And the dog's got his paw in the jam jar. <laughs> Boil the kettle, Gretel. Bring the butter, Betty. Charles wants chips. And so does Pam. Thanks a lot, Jim. Oh, you've not, Jim. Jim, you've eaten all the jam. Look at him. He's got jam on his clothes, just like you, Mr Mopple. Yes, only much worse than me. He's even got it on his shoes. And look, the jam jar's empty. He's holding his tummy too. He doesn't look very well, does he? No, he's eaten too much jam and now he feels sick. Where's she taking him? Off to have a bath, I expect. <laughs> Bong. Time to go, time to go. Thanks, Boris. That was a good story and the book is nice and clean. Yes, <laughs> I can see that, Mr Mopple. Would you like me to bring you some jam, Twinkle? Uh, no thank you, Mr Mopple. I thought you liked jam, dear. Yes, I do usually, but I don't feel like it at the moment. I know what you mean. After all that food in the story, you don't feel hungry anymore. No. Well, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, goodbye Mr, Mr Mopple. Mopple. Thank you for reading the story. I'm ready for my lunch now. On second thoughts, I'm not that hungry at the moment, so I'll put it over here and I'll have it later after I finish my work. And I'll see you next time. Take care, goodbye. <laughs>